name's Naomi da Costa. I'm a doctor who deals with the treatment primarily of, of trichotillomania through my own personal experience, but also other body-focused repetitive conditions and PICA, as well as OCD. I'm doing this video today because so many people have asked me recently, how close are we to being able to use gene therapy to remove the hair pulling behaviour? And the answer to that is actually very close in terms of the fact that we've done it with animals, it's doable. We can certainly, by altering a gene, we can certainly stop somebody from over-grooming themselves, from skin picking, from hair pulling. However, and this is a very important caveat, I have my own personal experience. I pulled my hair out for 27 years. I've, at this point of recording this video, I'm just over 14 years pull free. Um, I'm doing the video from bed and the reason is because I wanted to show you how, how surrounded I am by fur fabrics. I use these things to comfort myself. I automatically go to, because we're very texture orientated as people who hair pull, I go to now other sources of comfort. Previously, I think when we begin stroking our hair, and that's how hair pulling begins, that's a comfort behaviour and it's an absence of comfort that's causing that to occur. Now, would I take away trichotillomania? I'm in a very fortunate position, being over 14 years pull free. If you were to say to me today, we can give you a gene therapy which will remove your trichotillomania, I wouldn't do it. And the reason is this. I, the critical mind is vital. The critical mind is so important in the academic world. We need it in order to process various things. Now, the fact that I'm looking at this from a critical point of view is possibly and probably a symptom of my trichotillomania. However, it's not going to be constructive if, you have it, if I have it taken away. So... I think that the trichotillomania gene has enormous positive potential in other respects and therefore I wouldn't want to remove my mechanism of finding fault in things, finding something that's different. Sifting through the hair often involves finding something that's different, identifying it and I think that can be used as a skill. So in terms of where we are with genetics, yes, we can do it with animals. We can stop an animal from over-grooming or pulling out its own fur. And this experiment has been done repeatedly with mice. However, in terms of human beings, in terms of offering this as a treatment for trichotillomania, I would say we are possibly a decade away. Thank you.